This is Asian Jeff. He is Fortnite's newest viral sensation. And today, I'm going to break down how this seemingly overnight success is actually the product of five years of trying and failing. Let's dive into the drama, the controversy, and the crazy energy of Asian Jeff. Jeff began his career in Fortnite back in November 2018, where he would stream the popular game on his Twitch channel. Although he barely had any viewers at first, Jeff continued to stream both Fortnite and Overwatch as well, hoping to gain some traction. Many people know Asian Jeff today as crazy, over the top, goofy, and always getting in his mom's way. Wait, I never called my mom. Okay, so it's 1.42 a.m. Bro, she's sleeping, bro. You're gonna have to bring you, bro. Mom, Hello. I'm streaming Hello. right now. Don't say anything bad, okay? Come Are you sleeping right now? Hunter, mom, pull up. Where's he, mom? Oh. But we'll have more on that later. However, the OG Asian Jeff we're talking about now was certainly a lot different. His streams were relatively bland and emotionless. He was basically any normal kid playing video games. And to be fair, he was pretty good. And people started to notice this on February of 2019. This is when Jeff would upload his very first YouTube video titled 22 Kill Dub, where he did exactly that. Jeff pulled off a 22 elimination victory royale and showed off his Fortnite skills and potential as one of the top players in the game. But Jeff still wasn't seeing much growth on his channel. Despite dropping a 22 bomb, there wasn't anything unique about his style both in the game or on camera. However, Jeff never debated venturing into different content and in fact doubled down streaming even more and playing in more competitive tournaments. Jeff just wanted to win both on camera and in the game. Eventually, Fortnite officially announced their biggest competition of all time, the World Cup. This was Jeff's opportunity to shine. During the World Cup, Jeff played some amazing qualifiers and even eliminated one of Fortnite's greatest players of all time, Tifu. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro. <laughs> Bro, what, what is my gun doing, dude? After uploading this clip of killing Tifu, he did get some traction, but that was really his only highlight from the event. And despite only having a few viewers, he grinded up to five, six, seven, or eight hour streams on a regular basis. And because of that hard work and dedication, things would change for the better in the latter part of 2019. See, it was around this time when many of the best players in Fortnite started to participate in wager matches. For those of you that don't know, wager matches, also known as tokens, are basically 1v1 Fortnite matches where the two players will bet money against each other and the winner takes all. These wager matches would not only start Jeff's career, but also launch him into the biggest controversy of his life. Let me explain. First, I need to talk about another player who really stood out in the wager era to give all of this context. And for those of you that don't know him, his name is Clix. Clix being easily one of the best players in the game and also one of the biggest Twitch streamers and YouTubers at the time, he could take down his opponents like a piece of cake. Oh, no, oh my god, I'm on controller! But there was one player on stream who Clix struggled to take down during his matches, and that was no other than Asian Jeff. For some reason, during these 1v1 wagers, Jeff just absolutely dominated Clix in every aspect. When Jeff and Clix faced off, Jeff would beat him by so much that Clix actually gave Jeff a shout out on his Twitter. Over the next few months, Jeff didn't really see much progress. His views weren't climbing, and he wasn't living up to the expectations and hype of somebody that Clix shouted out. That being said, Jeff made sure to keep his relationship with Clix solid because that's what would really help them take off in the end. And we'll get a little bit further into that now. As Asian Jeff and Clix began playing more together, Jeff saw his numbers increase. Some people would even say that Jeff used Clix for views, but it seemed like Clix's viewers really liked him, so Clix had no problem bringing Jeff onto the stream as much as he could. Because of Jeff's success against Clix, he also began 1v1ing some of the world's best Fortnite players like Skeptic and Sexro, who were really popular at the time, averaging a couple thousand viewers per stream. By early 2022, Jeff had reached 10,000 followers on Twitch and was getting around 150 viewers on his streams, 1v1ing these big pro players. But it was around this time that people started to notice Jeff changing. It was a little strange. His personality behind the camera became weirder. What all, Bucky? What all, Bucky? What all? What all? Get the f my ears. And weirder. Bucky, don't get nervous. And honestly, pretty toxic. 
fucking terrible. Around this time in early 2020, Jeff decided it was best for him to stop focusing as much on competitive play and really grind out streaming and YouTube. By May of 2020, Jeff's viewers were absolutely skyrocketing out of nowhere. And that was all because of this personality switch. It was almost like a light bulb in Jeff's head went off and it unlocked his funny side. Alright, 180, full box, full box, full box, full box, full box. What's up? Mom? What Mom, I'm almost done. Ready? Right hand, 100, and... Oh, no, no, boom, boom, resting. I'm stuck in the corner, I want to make another box out. Done, 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 done. Oh my god! Over, over. Do I use wood brick? Do I use wood or brick first moving? Hurry, hurry, tell me, tell me. First moving, uh, let me look at my notepad. You, really you gotta coach me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the I, camera I, close to you. First moving, you're gonna wanna use, um, uh, wood. But when you box up, use metal, okay? Can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lamp on side. Can you, good, can you see? I think what Jeff realized is that if he wasn't gonna be as good as the Clixes and the Zexros and the Tifus of the world, he had to have another skill, and that was making people laugh. All the while, people were intrigued as to why Jeff was able to beat people in creative 1v1s, but not place high in tournaments. This led to a lot of cheating accusations. This, however, didn't bother him as it only added more viewership and more clout. Either way, Jeff kept streaming on a daily basis and growing his viewer base into 2021. By the time 2021 came around, Jeff was averaging a solid 400 viewers plus on all of his Twitch streams, and it seemed that his tournament play was actually getting a little bit better. But as fast as Jeff's rise was, his fall was even quicker. After not being able to place in any tournaments, he really started to lose some of his fans because they wanted to see better players perform. Jeff realized that if he was going to keep his audience, he had to grind out the game and make himself a better player in tournaments. So in June of 2021, when Jeff was invited to the FNCS showdown, he had an opportunity to show off and prove to everybody once again that he wasn't just a streamer, but actually a great player. However, because of Jeff's history of poor play in tournaments, nobody really expected anything from Jeff, and I think this both motivated him and didn't add a lot of pressure because nobody was expecting him to do well, so this was a perfect scenario for Jeff to perform his very best. Right off the bat, Asian Jeff was playing crazy. He was placing top 100 in multiple brackets, and when it was time for the set lobby finals, all eyes were on Jeff to defy all odds. Very low, we need to split whites, maybe give over, yep, good job. Still 18 teams left, lots of solos. We get shot from above, and we got... Top 18, three kills. Not the best, but also not the worst coming out of the duo. Asian Jeff, he's not done just yet. NA Malabuka. Dang. I don't think Malabuka would be moving like this now. Asian Jeff. Asian Jeff and Oliver OG wow. in fourth place. Jumping up 13 placements with just that one game. We did it! We won! Somehow, Jeff not only qualified for the finals, but ended up winning the Heat, placing him in his first FNCS finals. And while he didn't do amazing in FNCS Grands, this was a huge step up for Jeff, and it really got him some notoriety in the scene. And I guess something must have clicked for Jeff because he started consistently placing higher in tournaments and he ended up linking up with fellow pros Elige and his now duo Oliver OG as they took on the Trios Cup FNCS. But when Chapter 3 came around, Jeff had no idea what was coming for him. After playing in several tournaments with different teammates in the first two seasons of the chapter, he ultimately decided to run it back with Oliver OG. The two went on to place fifth in the qualifier round, meaning they were headed back to the FNCS Grand Finals. Jeff and Oliver ended up placing an awesome 11th in grand finals, which was Jeff's best performance yet. However, things took a turn for a worst, and this would actually end up being Jeff's last time making it to FNCS grand finals. Kicking off season three, Jeff played frequently with Oliver OG, but wasn't seeing any sort of progress. After countless failures in tournament play, Jeff was about to just give up for good, but there was still that one thing that kept him coming back, and that was his live streams. See, Jeff's live streams now were pulling in amazing viewers, actually averaging almost a thousand viewers every single stream. People love Jeff not just for his gameplay, but for his energy and his quirky personality. At this point, he was becoming well-known in the Fortnite community and started posting a lot of highlight clips from his streams. 100? 100? That is when things really took off. 
quite possibly the most cringy streamer on the platform, fans still couldn't get enough of Asian Jeff, and he decided to keep his personality-based career as opposed to focusing on winning tournaments. By 2023, Jeff was able to amass 50,000 subscribers on YouTube and over 250,000 followers on Twitch. Sure enough, Jeff's content continued to grow, and he basically stopped competing in professional tournaments. Although he would participate in them just for fun, it was clear that Jeff now understood that his way to make money and stay relevant in the community was through streaming. Jeff's continual success led him to averaging over a thousand views per stream. Not only was Jeff gaining recognition from the community of Fortnite, but really gaming and YouTube worldwide. He was also now playing with some of the top players and streamers in the entire world. Additionally, he started to expand his YouTube team and put more effort into editing, thumbnails, and all the things that make his YouTube videos now awesome. Jeff is now seeing over a hundred thousand views on his videos, and it seemed like nothing could stop him from the rise to the top. But oddly enough, things got even better. Because when Fortnite revealed their new Chapter 4, Season 5, Jeff's popularity skyrocketed. This season was very unique as Fortnite actually brought back the OG map, as many of you may know. This being said, a ton of old players returned to the game and Fortnite's popularity grew immensely. And of course, if Fortnite's popularity grows, their creator's popularity will grow as well. So Jeff knew he had to work as hard as he could to take advantage of this new season and all of these old players and viewers coming back. And that is exactly what Jeff did. He was creating viral clips left and right on every single one of his streams. No, I'm the main character. I'm not gonna let Storm touch me. I am the one that touches. Aaron Yeager. Wait, what does this do? What the hell? He took his already wild personality and upped it up 10 times. Done, 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 done. So, with all of this hard work, within just a few weeks of the new season, Jeff went from averaging 1,000 viewers to over 10,000 viewers on his Twitch streams. Not only were his streams breaking records, but his YouTube videos were popping off as well. He had multiple videos with several million views within just weeks of posting them. And this is something that nobody had ever seen before. Jeff was growing so quickly, and it seemed like nothing could could stop him. And just as we thought things couldn't get any better, Jeff managed to get one of the biggest creators, not only in Fortnite, but in the entire world, Jinxy, to 1v1 him for a video. Here's how that went down. Gosh! Clicks better, 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 clicks better. At the end of the day, all of this change in Jeff's personality had some people questioning whether or not this is the real him. We've seen a lot of really popular streamers and YouTubers burn out very quickly because they had to be somebody that they weren't on stream. So I really don't hope this is the case with Jeff, and I genuinely hope that he's really enjoying the content that he's making, not just the money and views. And to add on to that, Jeff has faced a lot of controversy just like many other large creators, but he's taken this a little bit more than others. From the cheating accusations to people saying he was view botting, people didn't really believe that he was actually getting all of these viewers. But clearly that hasn't stopped Asian Jeff from keeping up what he's doing. As he keeps bringing in the views and some big checks, he can just tell the haters to look at his bank account. For more videos like this, comment your favorite Fortnite player of all time down below and make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.